So, with about the little Mogan David sticky things, those are basically, those are for when you have a hospice patient or a elder patient, those are what they use to clean their mouth and their teeth with. Okay, so when you're when you're creative, and everybody is, so we can be creative in different ways, but everybody's creative in some way. When we're creative, and we allow our creativity to thrive, you see something, and you go, oh, "I can do that with this," you know, you know, and it's it's a it's um, and that is also the art of making do. The art of making do is the constant ability to see one thing and think, oh, that can be this. I can do that with this. And you think, oh, I can't do that. It's like, no, you just haven't tried. If you can't do it, it's because you've never put your mind in that headspace to say, oh, I can, I can take this and make that. I know that I used to do it with things that I did all the time because sewing was my thing and um, you know different different things than you what were my thing and I could look at something and say well I could make this do this because I don't have this particular thing right oh, yeah for sure right. pattern makers right oh I make a, patterns and everything yeah, else don't yeah look at a piece of material and say oh if I cut it this way exactly exactly I get twice as much out of it but thing. I had never thought about doing it with other things but after uh, not very long with you I'm like oh that dead firework stand could be something else right yeah it's like yeah it's and that's what happens it's like once you start doing it you'll be surprised at the amount of stuff and then you go this is where hoarders come from well and the difference between making do which means that you have to take things and go oh i get that shit out of the dumpster i can use that and hoarders is that hoarders never use the shit that they get yeah if you use it then it's not hoarding if you use it. Well, not only do you use it, but it's organized. I mean, yeah. or more or less organized, well, at least. Well, it has to be organized if you're going to use it. Yeah. If you're going to use it, it has to be... A, that's when you know, I need to get rid of some shit. Yeah. When it comes to the point that you're looking at a pile of crap and you don't know what's in it, that's hoarding. Yeah. But, as you see, some of this shit I've literally kept for 20, 30 years. Yes. But you've also gotten rid of massive but amounts I've of things. Gotten rid of, I and have sold. We and have yard. We used to have yard sales every year. Yeah. And we got rid of all kinds of stuff in yard sales because it was yeah. like, okay, no, I'm not going to use this, or I've used it for I what I want. I don't have time. I would have to live to be a hundred to use all the shit. Yes. I have. Right. There's a point. And and if you have a friend who's doing something and you realize, oh, my my so and so collection of blah 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 would work for that. You know. Mm hmm. You know, you, you just trade up. You give it to them outright, or you say, well, you got this. I could use that. Mm -hmm. Bartering. Bartering is a big thing among making do. Big part of making do is, like, can be bartering. You know, my friend has this. They don't want it, but I have this. Let's, let's trade them. Mm -hmm. See, I already made a mess. That's so all right. You'll fix it. clean up later. But as you can see, that's a lot easier than it would be if I tried to paint the inside after. Well, trying to go in with the dark paint all the uh, way in on top of the light is really hard well, first anyway. Off, that's a very deep groove. Yes. You're going to have, you have to really get a lot of paint in it to make it work. So. Right. Okay, well, I will come back. Okay, thank you. I love the bright, bright yellow in yeah. the middle there. Let me see if I can show it to them. Yeah, those aren't finished. I still have to paint the blue, blue and the green blue. Yeah. yeah, I know. You still have to go back and do so. But you put a really bright yellow in the middle on both of those. That is so pretty. Wow. And this is the one that's going to go over the window. This is the one that goes in the window, and I had to make a cream. Okay. I was out of cream. So how did you make the cream? I uh, had some cream. I had some. It all has to be the same kind. So it all has to be, if it's semi-gloss, it needs to all be semi-gloss. Semi -gloss. I had some semi-gloss um, antique white that I bought in a sale. Yeah. And then I had some, one of those gold pods 
uh, it's called a pot of paint. It's like you can get it, it's a sample, mm -hmm. but you can sometimes find hundreds of them at the uh, railroad damage. Oh, okay, so you, I see where you added the, so I added the, the inside the can. I, I can added see. the yellow yeah. pod paint after I painted those, the centers. Uh huh. I added that because it was all hot, uh, semi gloss. Oh, okay. Well, I, I show them what I, okay, so sometimes you go and like that can of paint here the glidden that started out as antique white uh-huh it started out as antique white so i got it at a railroad damage place for i think i paid two dollars for the for the court okay this was what i had left over of the cream it was all the way down in the bottom okay but i had the yellow was part of a pod. And what the pods are, they're called paint pods, and it allows you to take home and try out Different the colors. color on your wall before you purchase it. Okay, so what happens is, is sometimes railroad damage winds up, see, I have a lot of them. Oh, yes. This is a paint pod. That's a different brand of paint pod. That's a paint pod. I got them at different times because there were lots of them. So this one I this, have This, by the way, used. in case we haven't shown you. This, that's the freezer. That's the freezer. That's the freezer. Okay, the catch doesn't even work on it. So I have a bungee cord nailed to the wall, and then I just do that yeah. to close it. Okay, so. Cool thing about that is see. nothing's going to get trapped in there. Yeah, nothing's going to get trapped in no. there. But anyway, right. but that's what a paint pot is. Wow. And you can sometimes find dozens of them at railroad damage places because if a paint company goes out of business or if they don't keep using a certain amount of time, they get rid of them. Right. Or they discontinue a now color. Now this, or... I'm only going to put one coat on this back because this is the back side. And from the floor, from the ground, it you won't be able to see well, you won't through the window. See. Yeah how well it's painted, uh -huh. um, but I do want it painted because you will be, I want it to not show up as much as mm -hmm. what I'm trying for. And uh, a lighter color is not going to pop against the glass the way a dark color does. That makes sense. And uh, the idea, we'll see, it may not work at all, but the idea is that it'll mostly get lost at least from the ground. And it won't be as noticeable from the inside. from the inside either. It shouldn't be. And, and remember that, people, when you think every wall and everything you put on a wall and every axis come, you know, color has to be white. That's what you do if you want something to, you know, you Disappear. don't want anything to, if you don't want it to pop and you don't want it to be noticed, paint it white. That's awesome. Well, I'll come back when you get some more done here. Well, I think I don't know that I'm doing anything film worthy the rest of the day. Just well, we can definitely the... see the finished product, which will be neat. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And you were saying? Okay. Well, I was saying that we understand that during the, you know, the COVID apocalypse, and uh, you know, the destruction of our democracy and everything. Um, that a lot of you are stuck at home, maybe you don't have a lot to do, so maybe you would like to just watch the paint dry. So if you'll go over there and set the camera up <laughs> right there. on a loop and uh, watch the paint watch dry. It. Not really. No, oh, not fucking not, really. Not really? No. no, okay. Oh, well, I won't do that. No, <laughs> not really, but yeah. <laughs> but it's funny. Nobody, show you, God, nobody's that bored. That they want to see you're paint that dry? Bored, get your ass up off the fucking couch and do something. Or at the very least, go back and watch if all these videos so, again and give us more so minutes. Bored, <laughs> if you're so bored, if you're so bored that you're going, Jesus Christ, you mean she's not going to really let me watch paint dry? That's what I was going to fill the rest of the day with. Get off your ass and do something. <laughs> or just put all of my videos on a loop and watch them over and over again so I can finally get enough fucking minutes to monetize, you bastard. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Wow.
So it's all painted. I'm just kind of waiting for it to dry and then I want to take it over to the other house. I could leave it here because it's not supposed to rain, but dogs. Yeah, I know. Dogs. Dogs. Do you think, well, well what are they going to do to that? Any number of stupid yes. things. Jump up here, the big one. Why jump does up and my pull big it dog take my firewood and pull it all over the yard? <laughs> You've even animals done both sides of this? Are assholes, yeah. Wow. Yeah, animals are assholes. So I'm going to let them dry a little bit longer and then I'm going to go put them up in the treehouse and. Awesome. Because I don't want them to get destroyed by the dogs. Dogs. Well, and they'll be inside and be able to dry really well. And yeah. Yeah. Awesome. But at any rate, that's it for today. She also got paint on the lens, but not on the lens lens. So. Just somewhere on the ca on this uh, camera. Just right there. Oh no, it's like it's reflecting off of that. Reflecting off of that. Yeah. Good. I'm glad I didn't get yeah. it on the camera. Uh, the, I got it on me. Yeah, you got it on me. I you. got it on me, but there you go. She managed to get it on her. She wasn't the one painting. Of course, I got it all over. Me. Well, yes, of course. But what I was also our, cleaned my brushes. Our brushes. grandson, Roland. Yeah, Roland he said. came in. Yeah, you must be going to town. There's no paint on your clothes. <laughs> yep. Okay, see you later. So, right after we finished that last clip, Selena came over here and put all this stuff up. She's up there. I'm going to have her show you what she's done. I just wanted you to see what it looks like from outside. And you're the on. The bed's not on. No, the bed's oh, not yeah, up yet. Because I gotta build the bed first because there's gonna have to be leveled and everything before I put that on. And here is that from. It looks so good this from is, down it, below. Does it look? Oh, is it, it looks less good. Noticeable? I don't know if it's less noticeable, but it looks better. Okay. It looks good. And then I got that oh. thing up and he's put up. Oh wow. I love it. So what I mean the pop of color. Oh yes. The raw wood. The old palette, nasty ass wood, it just that little pipe, pop of color is just. That looks so good. Where'd you put the other one? The other ones are on the other there. side. They're in the kitchen. Ah, nice. Nice. I love it. Oh, there's the little one. Yeah. How cute. I love it. This is going to be such a happy, fun place. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, that's the idea. So this will be the and end of this video. One of these doors, I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. That's probably the middle one will be blue and the other two will be that lime green. That lime green? Oh, that'll yeah. be nice. And then that'll give us more color in here. Yes. And then to go with all the raw wood and all that. To, to dispel the death. <laughs> well, I like raw wood. Mm -hmm. I like real wood. Mm -hmm. But... With real wood, it gets real monotonous real quick. Yep. And so I like to infuse a little color into that, and it just, it looks better. I think it looks amazing. I think it does, and I don't really care what other people think, <laughs> and neither should you if exactly. it's your space. If it's your space, it should be the place you most want to go to. There you go. Signing off.